Hi, and welcome back to our video series where we tour the Canna Janney Christmas Light Show. One of our younger fans has expressed an interest in the technical details of our show and some of the wiring details. Please be advised that while electricity can be very fun and very essential for our daily lives, it can also be very dangerous. If handled improperly, one could suffer severe injury or even death as a result. Before conducting any experiment with electricity, it's advisable to seek the knowledge and expertise of a qualified electrician. Every production that we set up for here at the Canna Janney Christmas Light Show has many components to it. The computer would be the brains of our operation and the software that controls it. But at the heart of every show lies the controllers. Controllers come in many varieties and many different communication protocols. Before we talk about controllers, let's cover a little bit about electricity and what exactly a channel is. Take this lamp for instance. If I turn the switch on, electricity flows from the wall, through the lamp, and across the filament of the light bulb. Electrons flow across the filament of the light bulb, creating resistance along the way. That resistance creates heat and heats up the wire. It heats up the wire so hot, in fact, that it glows. And in this case, it's glowing red. That's because there's some paint over the light bulb. This is one circuit, or one channel. If I had two lamps with me, I would have two circuits, or one channel. Every circuit constitutes a channel in each of our shows. Now imagine that I had 216 lamps laid out here before me. How many channels would I have? If you guessed 216, you would be right. The challenge before us is, how do we turn all of these lamps on and off in such a way that it's synchronized to music? We certainly can't do it by hand, so we need the assistance of a computer to help us out. In addition to a computer, we also need a controller that's capable of powering as many circuits as we have in our show. This is a customized controller built right here by us for use in our show. It's a 216 channel DMX 512 controller. DMX 512 is a communications protocol that was developed by the Engineering Commission of the United States Institute for Theater Technology in 1986. DMX 512 stands for Digital Multiplex with 512 pieces of information. The original intent of this protocol was for staging equipment, lighting, fog machines, smoke machines, and many other theatrical uses. In recent years, it has been discovered by do-it-yourselfers that DMX can also be used to control low-voltage lighting. If you'd like some more information on DMX 512, click right here. Perhaps the most popular and widely known low-power light today is the LED, or light-emitting diode. LEDs have gained popularity due to their power savings and efficiency. This controller is powered by only 12 volts of DC, or direct current, and will ultimately light up over 1,500 LEDs in our show this year. Let's work our way around the controller, and we'll show you some of the components and what they do. This is one of three 12 volt power supplies that's used to power the entire controller. Each power supply will send power to each of the green boards, the DMX boards, in the controller. The input to each power supply is 110 volts of AC, or alternating current, which then converts the output to 12 volts DC, or direct current. If you'd like more information on AC current versus DC current, Please click here. Each of these green boards acts as switches that open or close by commands sent in from the computer via the DMX512 communication protocol. Each board is numbered so we can clearly see what channels the boards relate to. These ports here are where the DMX signal is sent in via the computer, which would be in this wire right here. This yellow wire right here is where the 12 volts of DC would be sent in to power the board. Each of these contacts here corresponds to one LED light that's used in our display. The wire in the leftmost part of this board is a red light, a green light, and a blue light on the third position in. The fourth position is the common. 
We have many types of controllers here at the Canon Jenny Christmas Light Show, each of which must be carefully fed and mapped into a computer when we start to program the show. I hope you enjoy this tour of our 216 channel controller. If you have any questions or would like to see more or another aspect of what we do, please comment on our Facebook page. Thanks so much and we'll see you soon.